Uh, now we're going to look at another example, a much more general example, and then we'll do a few applications involving the chain rule. So here I want to look at a new differentiation rule, the derivative of this exponential function of base a, a to the x, and we're going to show that the derivative is a to the x ln of a. So let's just recall what the derivative is when the base of the exponential is e. Now in this case the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. In some sense this was our defining property of the exponential function uh, with base e was that it's going to have its own derivative. But we're going to recall that because essentially that's the only thing we need in order to do any base exponential function. So now what we notice is that if I have any number a, any positive number a, I can always write it in terms of a base e exponential in this way. If I take the natural log of a and I raise e to that number, then I just get back to a itself. This is because exponentials and logarithms are inverses to each other. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that a to the x is e to the ln of a times x. And so now we're perfectly set up for finding its derivative because I just need to now work out what the derivative of this is. And this is an exponential function of base e, which I know what the derivative of those are. The derivative of this exponential function, okay, well this is actually a composition, it's the exponential function with this linear function. So the derivative is going to be e to the inside function times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is ln of a times x. Now it's important to observe here that ln of a is just a number. a was a number, ln of a, that's just a number. So this is some constant times x. So what's the derivative? Well, the derivative is just going to be that constant. Con the derivative of a constant times x is just a constant in front. So it's going to be ln of a. And this is where that ln of a is coming from in the differentiation rule as written above. Now this, e to the ln of a of x, well that was just our fancy way of writing a, of, a to the power of x. So I can rewrite it back as a to the power of x and I get ln of a and there we go. We get our differentiation rule for an exponential function of arbitrary base. And we've done this by using a fact we knew about exponential functions of base e and this property here of the ability to write any exponential function of any base as an exponential function of base e. Now this is an important thing in calculus. Exponential functions of base e we're going to be using almost exclusively just because of this differentiation rule that the derivative is itself. But we're not excluding the use of other exponential functions of other bases. Um, merely because of the fact that, well, no matter what base you use, you can always re-express it in terms of a function of base e. So we might as well just work with a function of base e because every other function is in some sense equivalent to it.